you know, it's been some time that things have cooled down since the whole world almost ended, right when the European Super League was announced. So now we can all look back at it like a terrible wet dream that was close to becoming a reality. So it was supposed to be 12 clubs that were gonna save football. You know, is it just me or are you feeling a sense of sarcasm as well? So we're not gonna talk about what the Super League is because frankly, everyone and their grandmother already talked about it to oblivion. But looking back at the team list, there were two major absentees, which got everyone asking, why did Bayern and PSG refuse to be part of the Super League? Well, stick around to find out why. Right, so, I gotta be honest, I thought, at least on the surface, it took some balls not to be part of the New World Order with massive financial guarantees. However, after the dust settled, the truth has come to light. Let's start with Bayern Munich. In Germany, clubs are run on the 50 plus 1 model, which gives the majority of the club ownership to the fans. That means, in order to join the Super League, they needed their fans' approval with the decision. And considering the fans' fierce rejection of the Super League worldwide, it was quite unlikely that Bayern as a club would approve joining the Super League. In the end, just like the rest of the world, there was a massive resistance to the idea of the Super League in Germany. In a future video, I'll talk about the 50 plus 1 model in more depth while discussing its pros and cons. But for now, the question is, why did PSG refuse to join the Super League? They don't have the 50 plus 1 model and are owned by Qatar Sports Investment, so they don't need their fans' approval, at least not legally. And as a club and a business, most of us expected to see them in the Super League. That being said, the reasons are a bit more complicated for PSG. And before we talk about why PSG refused to join the Super League, don't forget to leave a like or comment, it really helps out the YouTube algorithm as a lot of time goes into making these videos. So, let's talk about PSG. In PSG's case, there's a lot of politics involved. A lot of it has to do with the owners of PSG and specifically their president Nasser Al Khalifi. Both the owners and Nasser Al Khalifi enjoy a strong relationship with UEFA and FIFA. Al Khalifi is also the chairman of the BN Sports, the main media broadcasters of UEFA Champions League in the Arab region. So yeah, you can imagine the creation of the Super League would mean bad business for the BN media company. And let's not forget that Qatar as a country is hosting the FIFA World Cup in 2022 where Al Khalifi is a member of the organizing committee and joining the Super League would really damage the relationship between Al Khalifi and FIFA. So, what do you think about the video? Do you think that the Super League is dead and gone? I personally think there's a chance that they'll strike again in future, maybe even far future. And that really saddens me as an AC Milan fan, a club with a long traditional values and history. Let me know in the comment section below, but be nice to each other. And if you like videos about football facts shown with sketches, well, stick around for future videos.